Police in Florida are investigating after a teenager died while in their custody. As Mark Strassman reports, he had earlier been jolted with a taser stun gun. Israel Hernandez had two big passions in life, skateboarding and art. He's the best friend ever. He was really good. Like, he, shit, he wanted to make a movement of art. Just before dawn Tuesday, Miami Beach police say they spotted the 18-year-old spraying graffiti on the side of this abandoned building. Diego Souza and Felix Fernandez, who they say smoked marijuana with Hernandez earlier that night, were acting as his lookouts. They say they witnessed the arrest. Before I could even go to warn him, he was already on a foot chase. Um, he ran around, juked the cop, got into a corner, and then he was gone. Police eventually caught up with Hernandez. In a statement, the department said he ignored officers' commands to stop. In order to effect his arrest, an officer deployed his conducted electrical weapon, or taser. Once in custody, the subject displayed signs of medical duress. They tried to lift up his arms and they would just, it would just fall, it would just collapse back to the floor. They were making fun of how he tensed up when he got tased. They were just laughing, oh, you should have seen him, you should have seen how he tensed up. The teen was later pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. One friend said he may have run because he was afraid of getting deported back to his native Colombia. The Miami-Dade Medical Center completed an autopsy Wednesday, but has not yet ruled on a cause of death. Toxicology results are also pending. The police department extended its condolences to the Hernandez family. Last night, relatives gathered around the teen's colorful artwork to mourn. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Atlanta.